going to make pan-seared fish for fish tacos. The fish that we're using today, tilapia, is a really light, flaky, moist fish. So if you're like kind of a squeamish fish person or if you have kids, it's a good gateway fish to get people engaging with fish and to feel more like excited to be trying different kinds of fish. And it is so easy peasy. You're gonna need a massive quantity of flour. Just kidding, only a little. Goodbye. You also need oregano, red pepper flakes, cayenne, garlic, paprika, coriander. Every time I say this, I think my voice gets higher. Kill me. Throw a bunch of spices in there. You can choose one or two things, or you can like go hog wild and use every spice that you have. We need my favorite thing in the world, a Ziploc bag. Hashtag not sponsored. Definitely don't need to have all of these. Red pepper flakes. Clearly I'm not measuring this. There are measurements in the actual recipe if you wanna look at that, but I don't really think there's such thing as over seasoning unless it's salt or pepper, so I just usually do it this way. Did I do cumin yet? Let's do it again. Paprika. You're just looking for that sort of like smoky, spicy, smoky spicy flavor. Obviously we need plenty of salt and pepper. Gonna take some flour. You don't need much, just enough to coat the fish that you have. Breading the fish is what helps it crisp up in the pan. And now we add our fishies. Just fight with your packaging a little. And then you do your little shake. Have a little fun, do a little dance. That could have been disastrous. And then we just wait till the pan's hot, pour in our oil, just enough to cover the bottom. We're not deep frying, we are pan frying. When the pan is sizzling hot, it's time to add your fish. Any grocery store that has like a fresh meat department will also have like a fishmonger or someone who can really help you out. And never feel scared to like ask them for help. It's not quite ready. It is ready when the back is bubbling. It's starting to sort of become golden around the edges. You want that all around each piece of fish. While that's cooking, finishing, I'm actually gonna just chop some cilantro and some uh, limes so that I can put it on top. Then when it's ready to flip, you wanna carefully toss it back into the oil. Having a second utensil really helps so it doesn't just like flop itself and then you spray the oil everywhere. Burns are not a part of this dish. Burns are not allowed. Let it finish on that side. It's my fishula. A regular spatula will work, but this is a handy tool to have. And then I'm just gonna garnish it with some herbs, some limes. Cool, happy cooking. So for those of you who are making fish for the first time because you watch this video or don't make fish that often, I wanna see what you did. I'm super proud of you. This is a very exciting moment. And I hope you share it with me and make this. And if you wanna check out how to use this for some bomb fish tacos, you can click like right over there and there's like a short video to see how to do that too. There's definitely an art to a fish taco.